Shalom. I'd like to start off again all glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahshai by Hashem, or Kakadash. Double honors that teaches that listen to positive great millstone. Also to you brothers that they're putting in the truth. Faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep and you brothers and sisters tuning in. Shalom. Let's start off with the first scripture here. This is the book of Psalms 37 and 35. And it says, I have seen the wicked in great power and spreading himself like a green bay tree. Now, when you take a look at a green bay tree here, as you can see in this picture here, okay, see how big and wide that green tree, green bay tree is? Okay, it dwarfs everything. It dominates. It cuts off the light. When you take a look at the grass in the front, it's nice and green. When you take a look at the grass that's nearer to that tree, okay, it's all dried up, right? Because those grass is not getting that light to it. Okay, and this is Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man. He spreads himself like a green bay tree in his wickedness, and he shuts the light off on the world, okay? The only light that he hasn't shut off yet Okay, is that green grass in the front, which is the hopefully lack of Yasharala, Israel, a so called blacks, Native Americans, and Latino, and particularly the man that go in the highway and the byway and cry daily, okay, to the Lord, how about you, Ashai, about the wickedness of this man? Now, I'm going to show you a little video clip here, and you're going to see something, and we're going to bring, bring in all the scriptures and the precepts, you know, in regards to this, because what you see here is a difference in this confused city here called Great Babylon, America, where you have a certain amount of these Edomites, okay, uh, that uh, disagree with the agenda gender that's being pushed out by the majority of these Edomites and you're going to see okay uh how this actually is playing out and we, we bring this out every single day and we cry against this okay perverseness every day here in Great Babylon America so without further ado here's a video Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. But what about trans men and non binary men? They're not men. A whole group of they're, people they're women dressed as men. You are not a man. You can pretend to be a man, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life. I'd like to understand from your perspective why you don't believe it's rude and why you think you have a right to, when someone identifies a certain way, for you to tell them that that is not correct, that they are that particular gender or identity. Why do I feel that it's right to tell them the truth? But it's not you know, the truth. The people, the people who hate the truth. The people who hate the truth are because they see they see the truth as hateful. If, if you want to identify in any way you can, you're free to do so. But that does not mean that the rest of us have to join that illusion. If a transgender person is not harming you or the people or you love, why do you care so much? Because you want us to what? No, I don't want you to care. I want you to be quiet. I want you to stop being hateful. So let me answer. You disagree. I disagree with you. And so you call it hate. But there's no hate in my heart at all. So that's you are being hateful. When you tell somebody that identifies as a man, that they're not a man. That's hateful. hateful. That's a fact. So as you saw in that video, okay, you saw that you had one Edomite there who he's known as a fifth grade t- teacher there that's speaking against, okay, the sodomy and, and, and these uh, transgenderism that's going on that's being pushed out here. Um, because why? Um, he, he understands that it, it, it's, it's, it goes against their social norm, okay, what he's learned during the time when he was coming up, you know, in biology class and, you know, uh, the science class that Esau put out there, okay, which creates a whole lot more of the confusion because, again, Esau, okay, teaches us thing in school, but yet still at the same time, He's coming up down in, 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 in the uh, 21st century and saying, well, maybe it can go like this and it can go like that. But however, let's see what the scripture said. This is the book of First Sec, First uh, Ezra uh, chapter 4 and starting with verse 37 it says, wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And as such are all their wicked works and there's no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. As for truth, it endure it and it's always strong and it live it and conquer it forevermore. And what you have here, okay, is that these these Edomites, very wicked, okay, they're, they're the ones that want to push this agenda out and particularly we know who they are, okay, these so-called Jewish conglomerate, okay, the, the Amalekites, okay, the, uh, the Amalek, okay, who's pushing this out through the media, the music and everything, and uh, every every subcomponents, okay, of, of life here in Great Babylon, America and across the earth. But I brought the first scripture, which talks about what, how this man spreads his wickedness like a grain bay tree and he suffocates the life, okay, but the Lord has 
set up men in these last days, okay? In particular, uh, to what? Preach this gospel out, let warn the world about the impending uh, judgment that's coming on this place, but also to ensure that the sheep of Yasharala Israel, so called Blasphemy Americans and Latino, is not led astray by this man, okay? And his, his, his seductive ways of, 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 of trying to subdue the people into, into accepting this, this, um, this um, perverseness, okay? This is it's, it's a trickle down effect when you look at it, okay? Because as you look at the Green Bay tree, okay, uh, its leaves fall on the ground and, and, and it, 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 it covers, okay, whatever little life there is that because of the sheer size of it. And this is a trickle down effect because it's coming, okay, from the top, okay? These Edomite uh, uh, kings, okay, which we like to really call them queens, okay? This is the book of Isaiah 3 and 9 um, because we have to understand what we're, we're in here. This, this place that, that we're in, okay, which is known as spiritual Sodom in Egypt, which I'll bring out a little bit later on, okay, is a place that what? When the leaders them come out and they speak, when they walk and they talk and everything that they, they, they bring out to the public and even behind closed door, it's what? This, this is Isaiah 3 and 9. It says, to show off their continents to witness against them. And they declare that sin is Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Now, we know this is talking about, okay, uh, Yashar Allah, uh, uh, so called Blasphemy Americans Latino, because a lot of our people are going into this, okay? They follow the ways of these evil nations around us, our enemies, okay? These are the 17 nations. And in particular, in these last days, yeah, they're following the ways of the so called white man, okay? Who is what? Who, whose continence is that of a Sodomite, okay? I mean, it, it, it's, it's so much to the point where, you know, you, you walk around, if you go to the gym, you, you, you're doing a workout, you, you get to look out for these doggone guys behind you, man, because, you know, are they looking at you because are you working out? Are they looking at you for, you know, lust or, or other burning desire? I mean, is that sick in this doggone place to the point of where you have to constantly be aware, okay, of, a, of what you thought was a, a, as a male behind you, okay, it's having a burning lust for you, okay? It permeates in the culture, okay? The essence is sodomy. Let's go into the book of Ecclesiastes 14, and starting with verse 5, it says, He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. This man is not concerned about, you know, the downfall of his people. He's not concerned about the Edomites. He's not concerned about their well-being. He's not concerned about uh, about them losing their house, their jobs, okay, uh, their health, okay, or anything like that. This man is only concerned about what's spreading his evil. This is, this, this, this is what he does, okay? Look at look look at the state of these Edomites, okay? And this is not to say we have any type of, of of any type of sympathy for them. We have no sympathy for them at all because okay, this is what they're getting back, okay? And we're gonna get into you know Deuteronomy thirty and seven where the Lord said that He would bring this back onto these people, and you're seeing what's going on right now, okay? Okay, they're they're hooked on on on, on meth, they're hooked on the, uh, what is fentanyl, okay? They're 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 popping pills, they're homeless, they have mental stress and illness, they have a total drug addiction and this man is focusing on what the sodomy agenda rather than actually fixing the problem of his own people this is why it says i'll repeat it again ecclesiastes 14 7 verse 5 it said he that is evil to himself to whom will he be good he shall not take pleasure in his goods there is none worse than he that envied himself and there's a recompense of his wickedness and if he do it good he do it unwillingly and at the last he declares wickedness the envious man had a wicked eye he turned it away his face and despised it man this man is wicked okay we bring it out on the highway in the bible daily about this man and with his wickedness we warn jake or the two-thirds of yasharala israel that this man has no intention no 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 intention of doing anything good for you uh esau made it very clear to himself okay that he's going to come up against the tribe of israel yasharala okay slay his brother jacob okay uh, at the right time okay and uh, and the right season when he just uh, is done away with using Jake for his purpose of what? Influencing the world with his wickedness, okay, through music, media, and all the other different things that he uses the 230 40 that you know, pursuing the Genesis 27 and 41, where he said he would slay the tribe of Israel. At least that's his attempt, okay. But we know the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh Shai, is going to cover and protect his, his, his 130 lakh, okay, our so called Blasphemy Americans and Latino that fear him and keep his commandments, okay. But Esau uh, is, is that so wicked and so perverse that he is neglected his own people. Let's go into the book of Isaiah 19 and 2. 
Because, see, this can't be resolved. As you hear that man, he was trying to really go up against, you know, the, the agenda. He, he was saying, like, this is not his problem. You know, why should he follow? And there were those in the audience that dare not side with him because why? They knew that they were on camera and they knew that they can have a loss of it. Why? Because they have invested interest in this place. And you saw this. You just saw this. The, the, the people that sit down there like that, uh, they, they really want to push this. I mean, when you watch it, it, it's very vexing, but you have to understand where we are. We are in this place, okay, that's known as spiritual saw them in Egypt okay this is the book of Isaiah 19 and 2 and it says I will set the Egyptians against Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom as this man has spread himself as a green bay tree across the earth you know pursuing the Psalms 37 and 35 they say I've seen the wicked and great power spread himself like a green bay tree what you have okay is a resistance from these other Edomite nations that are saying well wait a minute we don't want this felt this sodomy type essence in our military that you know russia is saying that you know a lot of these other nations are saying that they're, they're hating the ways of the whore because remember great babylon america is all about what confusion it's all about being you know part of a, a, of the good times let the good times roll you know now mind that this is a sinking ship and this place is going to be falling apart okay and so what you have here is that these people are trying to come up and trying to trying to have some base of morality okay and, and trying to say no this is not right and wrong but notice that this man never quoted the scriptures or nothing like that he just to go with science which we know science is horse crap okay and esau has no proof of any of the things that he put in these books it's true and we're going to find in the kingdom that everything that we learned in this in this in this, in this during his on his rulership was absolute nonsense and and, and and just lies okay and i'd like to bring a lesson about that uh later on okay so they, they, they're, they're trying to attempt this to try to go for this morality now here's the reason why they're trying to do this okay now let's start off with the book of proverbs 29 and 12 it says if a ruler hearkens to lies all the servants are wicked they're all wicked now when you look at what we've been brainwashed to believe was we believe that this was moses this this man here was Moses. Then somehow he went up in the Mount Sinai and he got the Ten Commandments from Yahweh Shimei or Shai, or they ignorantly call God. Okay, and he came back and you know uh, uh, he he gave this this, this commandment to the, to the children of Israel because again these so called white people uh, stop they they have this world mindset is established that they are the, the chosen people which they're not okay and there's six there, there's more than there's more than uh ten commandments okay and so when you take a look at this here what do you see it says thou shalt not kill thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not steal thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor this is all the things that he saw has done he's he's done this against the nations he's done this against us the tribe of israel yasharali he's killed us okay um, he's, he's had our people commit adultery, you know, serving his gods rather than serving the true living power, Yahweh Shimei Shai. Okay, and he bear false witness against his own brother, okay, Jacob, us, okay. And so, I mean, look at this man, okay. And it says, you know, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord, uh, that God give it thee, okay. This place is going to be destroyed. So, this is a land that, that, that was given temporary, okay. His days are not going to be long, okay. And this man, okay, it's not, it's not the man that is going to be going, uh, going further into the kingdom them other than us what slavery okay this is the book of leviticus 20 and 13 because okay moses wrote the book of leviticus okay so if they would lead that moses was a so-called white man then they would understand this leviticus 20 and 13 says if a man also lied with mankind as he lied with a woman both of them are committed an abomination they should be surely put to death their blood should be upon them so why is this why is this not part of the society laws here why is this not in congress why has this not been registered out there why is this not being pervaded out there why is all of this sodomy okay this transgenderism and this confusion is being they're going to pervade out there okay why because of course this man is wicked and he's spreading himself like a green bay tree okay and as that green bay tree he he's he's, he's blocking the light of those that the habashi man i do not want to see the way this is the reason why you see this road of confusion is in front of them see they all go in all these different directions because they're trying to deal with dna uh the signs what the white man said earlier 30 years 40 years ago why is it changing now you know all this confusion and we as uh, see hopefully lack of yasharala asia or so-called bastion americans latino are walking that straight and narrow path okay because we're not going to be dismayed with that we see all of the uh distraction that he saw setting up and and to be quite frank with you it's it's laughable okay this this man is a child okay let's go into the book of revelations 11 and start verse 8 because this is talking about us okay knowing 
that they are you know confused of, of who the image of the lord is and who the image of the prophets are okay and only have what managed to come up with only 10 commandments the way we know there's more than 10 commandments there's over 600 commandments okay and i have read to you back in the book of leviticus 20 and 13 where moses wrote it himself he was given this okay that man should not lie with man okay it creates confusion okay and, and a whole lot of other laws that goes along with keeping the morality of a kingdom okay in 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 straight on and straight and narrow so that so that the kingdom can survive this is revelations 11 and 8 it says and the dead body shall lie in the street of the great city which is great babylon america which is spiritually called sodom and egypt okay where our lord was crucified lord yahushua mashiach was crucified and they of the people and kindreds and dongs and nations shall see the dead bodies three and a half and shall not suffer that their boys be put in grace. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, make merry, and shall send gifts to one another, because these two prophets, not in the southern kingdom, torment them at the dwell that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from power entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them. We saw them why? Because now there's accountability. We don't bring out and sugarcoat the fact that Great Babylon America is going to be destroyed. We don't sugarcoat the fact that sodomy, okay, and transgenderism is confusion, and it goes against everything that the scripture uh, uh, compels us to follow, okay? And, you know, of course, these people, these Edomites that are trying to stand up against it like that. Uh, they have seen their way of life as being compromised, okay, but they are not given the truth, the life from Yahweh Shemashai to really bring out the scriptures and really uh, convey it out to, to their own people and say, hey, you know what, this is all wrong. The, the, the God of the Bible said this is incorrect. They don't, they, don't, they don't do it. They don't do it. They don't stand up in the highway and the byway and put their ass on the line because they're fair. Because why? They're not chosen to do the work. Okay, they're not doing the commandments. Yahushua Mashiach, we said, you know, to spread it out and be not fearful because I have angels encompass the righteous. Okay, do my work. Okay, and feed my sheep. They're not feeding the sheep. Okay, they're feeding themselves. Okay, so yeah, he did sit down there and he did talk about it. But that's what all you really seeing there is basically pursuing the Isaiah uh, 19 and 2, whereas Egyptians against Egyptians. Why? They're just trying to propel their own uh their own ideology forward like that but there was nothing scriptural about it okay this is the book of isaiah let's close out here with the book of isaiah 13 and stand where 70 says behold i will stir up the means against them which shall not regard silverness for gold they shall not delight in it their bows also should dash young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb their eyes shall not spare you now you know many people say well why do you bring this up okay there's consequences for wickedness there's consequences for this confusion there's consequences okay for everything that they're trying to push out there there is consequences already brought out to you in the book of revelations 11 starting verse 8 where our dead bodies lied out here for centuries okay and we still not feed because we understand we the, the spirit of the lord came into us to know who we really are and now we are prophesying uh, are prophesying out there to the world okay? Okay, of our redemption and their destruction. Okay, and so now what you see here is that the Lord right now is preparing to deliver that judgment against Great Babylon, America. And it says, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the the top nation ever created, the top kingdom that ever has been erected on this earth so far to date. Uh, you know, the heavenly kingdom coming after what is going to be what the beginning of the, the beginning of everything, greater than anything, and never end. It says. And the Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the child, his excellency, shall be as when Yahweh Bashimi Ashai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Where <laughs> you see, what did he do? He destroyed the place with fire because why? Sodomy. Okay, it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Totally destroyed. Neither shall the Arabians pitch their tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and the houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, meaning this place is going to become like the Jurassic Park that these Edomites like to portray in their movies, okay? So this is what this is the consequences of what's coming here like that. Um, you know, and so it's a waxing it's a waxing state to be in, you know, when you when you have to see this constantly out there. But, you know, we have to bring it out to our people and let our people know that, you know, this, all of this is what you're seeing here, this confusion, okay, is leading up to the destruction because the Lord is going to overthrow Great Babylon, America, okay, you know, it's the United States of America, the land of the home, free and brave, okay, the Sodomites, okay, as he did in the past, it was Sodom and Gomorrah, because why? This place is wicked and he's, he saw the Edomite, the so-called white man, is the son of perdition who's going to go into 1,000 years of hardcore slavery and then wiped out of existence at the conclusion of it. All right, so Lord willing, you edify, I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to teach us, Allah, and apostles of great mercy, and also to your brothers that they put on the truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, feeling, shiving, you brothers and sisters, tuning in. Shalom.